New at six, two months after the Red for Ed movement, the teacher walkout that ended in Arizona, educators are now asking voters to approve a ballot initiative in November called Invest in Ed. Fox 10's Matt Rodewald joins us now live from the state capitol with the latest on that proposal. Matt. Mark, this is a big transition moment for the education movement, but Arizona business leaders tell me tonight that they will use every possible avenue in order to defeat this initiative. The plan is to tax the rich to give to the classrooms, but how much will come in? The numbers are all over the place, and critics are sounding the alarm bells on basic economics. It's a monumental challenge. We need 151,000 valid signatures. Uh, we did that in a little over two months. Organizers for the Invest in Ed initiative are celebrating on the 4th of July what they feel will be their own independence movement. This is Arizona voters wanting to take action and give our schools the resources that they need. But critics warn that wild conversation of 600, 700, or even 800 million dollars getting pumped into schools every year will fall well short. This is a very radical idea. Doubling the state's income tax for small businesses would put us from a very competitive position nationally to the fifth highest in the country. Arizona business leaders say that taxing the rich to give to schools won't stick. This is going to be a boon for accountants. Because people are going to figure out, wealthy individuals will figure out how to avoid taxes, or small businesses uh, are going to say, we may locate somewhere else. The initiative addresses the broader issue of classroom funding. But while critics have their doubts over whether school boards can be responsible with that money, Luhan says, trust the process. That's why we elect school boards, and, and it'll be done in a public, transparent process. Teachers will have input, support staff will have input. And, uh, and so the money will get into the classrooms where it needs to be. There is supposed to be a press conference here at the state capitol tomorrow, essentially a victory lap for organizers as they show off their petitions before they submit them. And there will certainly be a legal challenge, and if so, that will have to wrap up by the end of August so that election officials can begin to prepare their ballots for the November election ahead. It should certainly be an interesting fight up until then. Live at the state capitol tonight, Matt Rodewald, Fox 10 News.